So it is the next morning. I gotta block the light. It's the next morning. Um, I was gonna sew last night, but uh, then we had tornado warnings. An actual tornado heading toward us, and the tornado kind of missed us. I don't even know if it really missed us. And it was windy and rainy, but didn't really feel like a tornado. And uh, after it rained like crazy, I went to bed because the power was out till about 1 a.m. last night. I'm gonna pack a little package here and show you how I do it. So first thing we're doing is grabbing this from the goodie basket. Just gonna grab some of these. So once I have those freebies, I grab my mailer and her Ida. I need a thank you card, forgot about that part. Grab a fluff and tough Aztec bandana. Don't ask me, I didn't come up with a name. So then before I close it up, I put in all the little freebies and stuff so that they stay safe on the inside. Like a little cannoli. Like a little cannoli. Hey guys, I'm back. So it has been a chaotic couple of hours. Um, my voice is sore and kind of sounds like a frog at some moments. So I'm gonna try to not talk so much. We had an incident with the horses. Um, let's just say we put our two new fillies in with our um, older horses, 19 and 12, Lady in Blue, you know them. And um, we're not exactly sure what happened because they seemed to be so friendly in the beginning and then they just kind of like you know tried to run away from each other and turn on a few fences and I was not yelling so much at the horses I was yelling at my parents and Jen because I was like you know we had to communicate on like how are we going to get them separated and then of course the gates were open and everything so we couldn't even keep them contained anyway it was chaotic hard because it was so cold out there that I breathed br breathed breathed so much cold air in. so we'll see where this goes been sewing 30 minutes straight and haven't taken a break and I think I probably should have taken a break because I did not leave any curve on the sleeve which essentially means that the sleeve is not going to fit in the designated sleeve hole uh, which means that I need to cut into my already made seams and then reset them. The sleeve's a little long. I feel like screaming but I'm not showing it. I literally just, I just, no, a smart person would stop here for the night. <laughs> no. So this is what it's looking like so far. Not too bad. I thought I'd say so myself. But actually, Actually, the sleeve thing worked out because I do like to roll my sleeves up at the end and I do kind of fit right there. Um, this is going to be a lady my item, but I won't be this, you know, this is the first piece, you know, it takes a little, it takes a few trial and errors before something gets listed on Lady May. Part of the zipper, and now I'm an hour and ten minutes. 
an hour and 15 minutes into this and I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> I normally don't sew like a big period, like I'll cut everything one day and then do the next day, kind of like space everything out, especially with new items like this. Because I am 100% sure that that zipper is at least four or five millimeters off. You're like, oh, four or five millimeters, that's, that's nothing. No, it feels like everything when you have something on and it's off by that little. I feel it like it, it seems like a little, but it's actually a lot. So I'm turning it around for the first time. I just kind of sewing so the zipper. Okay, maybe I overreacted a little. Just want that. I've never made a fully Aztec anything before. I've always had like a different part like sewn onto. So like, I would only do the sleeves or only do this or only do that. I'm gonna try this on and see if it's worth showing you guys. I feel like you've watched, so you deserve to see. If it's that bad, I don't know. So my apologies for the lighting. It's night, so I have this horrible overhead light that's just messing everything up. Cute, you know, it, it's cute and it fits and it's a little fitted, it looks nice. This is too big. The zipper is not as function. Oh, that it does look warm though. And I'll show you the big mistake. This seam and this seam are off by about a thumb. However, I do have a plan to fix that. I just fixed this bottom part right here by stitching over a bunch of times. However, it has come to my attention that I'm not qualified enough to make these sort of things yet. So unfortunately, this did not work out the way I wanted it to, but it was still a good learning experience. That's what I'm gonna call it because it's really late and I've spent a lot of time on this, so it's now a learning experience. Honestly, I wish it was a success because I really had a super cute plan for this in the shop this month, but if this was white fabric, you would be able to tell but because this is black fabric and because the collar is supposed to fold over, um, I don't think, um, unless you're looking for it, you can tell. I think this is a cool addition to my personal closet. So I'm gonna hand stitch these and um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It was chaotic in a sense, uh, very spread out. Uh, power went out, tornado warnings, uh, horses went crazy. It's been a crazy few days here. Yeah, uh, if you have any video ideas, just uh, put them in the comments and bye!